Okay, morning. So, um, if you enjoy going out into the woods and you enjoy observing nature and learning more about nature, then a really good hobby to get into is plant pressing. Now, plant pressing is basically you take a flower or a leaf and you will put it under pressure between two pieces of paper, keep it there for a week, two, maybe three, um, and all the moisture in that plant or that leaf uh, is, is pressed out of it and that, that it's dried. But unlike drawing a leaf, just say, out uh, on a table or on the forest floor, it's not going to turn brown, it's not going to discolor, at least not too much, um, and it's not going to be too crinkly, it's going to stay perfectly flat. So you can um, mount it, you can put it on a piece of card, you can put it on, you know, even in a photo frame, um, and it makes really nice decorations or ways that you can essentially create your own kind of field guide. Now, one problem, of course, about plant pressing is that usually plant presses are really just uh, huge uh, uh, devices. You know, they're about this big and they can be quite thick. They take a lot of straps around. Um, and so unless you're going out just to collect materials to, to press, then um, they're really not feasible to, to put in your backpack. Um, the other option is they make really small ones which have um, uh, bolts um, and wing nuts that you, that, you, that you press down. Those are really effective, but of course, even if you have really short bolts, um, there's going to be some sticking out, and so that's going to uh, catch on your gear and probably tear your bag. Now, of course, you can, you can put things in books um, and just, you know, just, just put, the, uh, put the leaf in between two pages and, and press it tight, but um, I don't like doing that because it's not really good for the book. Um, and sometimes either the, the print can go on the leaf or very often the leaf uh, uh, colors and dyes can go onto the, the page of the book. So one thing that I came up with was this little uh, miniature um, pant, uh, um, plant press. And that was a design I, I thought up. Someone's probably thought of it before me, but um, I thought it was just a really neat little, um, little design. Um, it's really, really convenient for backpacking. So all it is is uh, two pieces of plywood essentially and you can make them whatever size you want. This size is really quite convenient um, and actually it, it can fit in a, a cargo uh, pant pocket really quite nicely. Two pieces of wood with some rope wrapped around it and some some newsprint on the inside and that's where you that's where you put your your plant. So I'll show you how this works. It just ties together with a, a square knot here. I'll just untie it and show you the pieces. So I've put, let me, let me take all this off and then you can see it. I've put, um, I've drilled two holes oops, right there and there on, on, both, um, on both pieces of wood so that they line up. You can see this, this, goes, this goes straight through. And I've taken one end of my rope, just put a figure eight knot in it, a few inches down put it down and then to tighten it up I just wrap it up stick the, uh, the cord through the other hole pull on it nice and tight and then just um, put it together with a square knot okay that's all there is to it and you can just put it back in your backpack just like it is now I'll show you what some of the uh, what some of these plants look like. If you open it up, what you do is you, um, I'm just opening it up here, and, and I've got several uh, pieces of newspaper just folded up so that they're the right size. And in between the newsprint, you, there's one down here, you'll put in your specimens. So you can see I've just put that there. Now this is dried. You can see it's perfectly flat and it's kept its color. So I can mount that on uh, a set of photo frame or in a, in a book to, um, to show my collection. I've got a few others in here. But you get the idea, just in each, um, each fold of the newsprint. Here's, here's another one here. This is a good example because this one was too long for my press, so I just uh, bent it once. And now it's got... Uh, Got that bend in it, but I, again, I can, I can, I can mount that. And it's nice and nice and flat, dried. And 
what's really nice is the flowers have, uh, hopefully that'll focus, the flowers have kept their color, so very good for identification. Okay, there's, there's a few others in here, but, but you get the idea. And then, once you've put uh, a specimen in, put it together, hold it really tight, just wrap it around. Stick the, uh, stick the cord through the other holes. Pull it together. Nice, tight square knot. There you have it, traveling plant press. Hope that was helpful. Um, it's a great hobby to get into. It's it's a great way of uh, really identifying uh, plants and and, uh, and trees and leaves. And also, it's really helpful if you find something that you don't recognize. Take a sample, and you can you can bring it back home, and you've got you've got one to refer to in the future. Of course, if you are collecting uh, plants and, and and leaves like this. Uh, be responsible. If you only see one of these plants, you know, especially things like orchids, uh, which are which are relatively rare, don't pick the only one. Uh, if there's if there's several, then yes, you can collect one and take it responsibly. Don't pull up the whole route. Try and uh, be as uh, responsible uh, to the land as you as you can. All right. Hope you enjoyed something. Be prepared. Have fun and enjoy the outdoors. Take care. Bye bye.